You are retired and you've decided to give Walt Disney World a try. The next decision is, when should you go? You can go any time of the year. We hope to help you answer that question for yourself. Next in our series of videos on Disney for retirees. Welcome to Nancy and Dan Travel. I'm Dan. Nancy and I are passionate about relaxing, memorable vacations for adults and multi-generational families. We publish videos weekly, primarily on adult vacations to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and on cruises. As you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us on another of our travel adventures. Deciding when it's best for you to go to Walt Disney World depends on what you want to do when you get there. The items with a gold check mark indicate that particular reason will impact what time of the year is best for seniors, boomers, and retirees to be at Walt Disney World. The items with the blue green X and the gold check mark indicates that that activity may or may not impact the time of the year. Whereas the activity with just the blue green X indicates they are typically fine to go any time of the year. Let's take a closer look, one at a time. If your primary interest is to be at Walt Disney World during times with low crowds, then there are four time periods which typically are optimal for you. First, from mid-January after the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend and Martin Luther King Jr. Day to mid-February just before President's Day Weekend. Second, from early April after Easter Weekend to early May before Mother's Day Weekend. Third, from early September after Labor Day Weekend to early October before some school districts have their week-long fall break. And lastly, from late November after Thanksgiving Weekend to mid-December. If, rather, your primary motivation for going to Walt Disney World is to see all of the theme parks and Disney resorts dressed up for the holidays, and perhaps to do some Disney holiday shopping in person, then you would want to go anytime from early November until late December. On the other hand, wanting to spend time with your grandchildren is your primary reason for going on vacation to Walt Disney World, then of course it depends on the availability of both your grandchildren as well as their parents if they're going to join in the fun too. Want to spend a lot of time relaxing at any of the many swimming pools at Walt Disney World Resort and or go to either of the two water parks on site? Then this depends on how cold cold is for you. Nancy and I are now living in the southwest, so for us, we like both the water and air temperatures warm. So for us, late spring through early fall would be the best. Want to do a lot of golfing, fishing, and other activities when at Walt Disney World? Then any time of the year is fine as long as you are fine being outside during cooler or warmer temperatures. Or, if your primary motivation for going to Walt Disney World is to attend one of the many festivals at Epcot, then here is when you want to go. Festival of the Arts starts off the calendar year. The Flower and Garden Festival is for Nancy and I when Epcot is at its prettiest. The festival that started all of the festivals, the Food and Wine Festival, is hugely popular and it can get quite crowded. Lastly, the Festival of the Holidays is when Epcot sparkles with a dazzling array of Christmas and holiday decorations, including country-specific ones within the different country pavilions in the World Showcase area of that park. Want to spend time shopping at all of the different retail shopping outlets at Disney Springs, at each Disney resort, and at each of the Disney theme parks and water parks? Then any time of the year is your best time of the year to go and shop. Want to indulge in lots of fine dining at Walt Disney World? Again, any time of the year is just the right time of the year for you. And remember that at each of the festivals at Epcot, they come with country-specific specialty beverage and dining booths as well. Really want to spend time in the parks, experiencing the attractions? Again, any time of the year is great for that, perhaps focusing on the times of the year when school-aged children are most likely to be in school. In sum, the best time of the year for seniors, baby boomers, and retirees to go to Walt Disney World really depends upon your own top one, two, or three ways on how you want to spend your time when you're there. And if it is simply to relax and unwind, then any time of the year, perhaps outside of the holidays, is just fine. Nancy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are two more videos of our travel adventures to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And lastly, my email is in the description below. Thank you and see you next time.